Okay, so now I'm going to be answering questions from um, February, March 2019, paper two, paper two, two, okay? So this is a paper for which the March scheme has not been released yet. So hopefully we'll get our answers all correct. Okay, so this is the paper. I'll be going through it. Um, the beginning page by page and then making a video of one page and then stopping and making a video of the next page and so on. All right, so first of all, question number one, the temperature at 7 a.m. is minus three degrees Celsius. This temperature is 11 degrees higher than the temperature at 1 a.m. Find the temperature at 1 a.m. Okay, so if minus three degrees is higher than is 11 degrees higher than the temperature at 1 a.m. That means the temperature at 1 a.m. is 11 degrees lower than minus 3 degrees. So if you take minus 3 and you take away from 11, you get minus 14. The answer is negative 14. You can see that that's 11 degrees lower than minus 3. Okay, pretty simple start there. Number 2, Jody swims 22 lengths of a swimming pool to raise money for charity. She receives $15 for each length that she swims. Calculate how much Jody raises for charity. Okay, so 22 lengths, each length is $15. 22 times $15. Okay, again, pretty easy start here. <clears throat> so, we've got 22 multiplied by 15. Gives us $330. Okay. Nothing really difficult so far. It says write the recurring decimal 0 0.23 with the dots under the 2 and 3 as a fraction. Okay, so this is something where you first of all, one of the methods of doing this, you can say x is equal to 0 0.23, the recurring dot on both 2 and 3. So that means this is actually 0 point, and both these numbers repeat 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, it continues like that. Now what we need is, <coughs> we need to have two like equations with that x in it where the pattern starts with, uh, or the pattern is what comes after the decimal point. So after the decimal point you have to have this pattern, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. You don't want to have um, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2 because then there will be an odd 2 there. So the best way to do this now is to think, okay, what I can use this particular expression I can use this as one of my equations because it starts with the pattern after the decimal point. Now let me take this and let me multiply it by a hundred. Okay, if I take this and multiply it by a hundred, then I have a hundred x equals twenty-three point two three two three two three dot dot dot. Now I multiplied by a hundred so that I would start again from the pattern. If I multiplied by just 10, I would have 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, but I want 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. And if I subtract these two lines from each other, what you'll notice is, like if I do 2 minus 1, so I can keep this positive, if I do 2 minus 1, I'll have 100 minus um, 1, which is 99. So 99x equals, and I'll have 23, 0.23232333 minus 0 0.232333 all these 0.23s will cancel out and you're left with 23 so what I can say here is my x is equal to 23 over 99 okay and if you want to just be sure of your answer you can actually do this is it 23 over 99 equals and you press std and you see you get 0 0.232323 so just to be sure of your answer of course you can't use your calculator to to um, answer the question okay these questions you won't be able to but you can check your answer to see whether it's correct or not with your calculator just put 23 over 99 in your calculator and verify that it comes to what you started with so you can be sure that you're correct okay that's question number three Question number four, write down 0 
875 correct to two significant figures. Now, the first significant figure in a number is the first number that is not a zero. Okay, so here the first significant figure is this four. And the next number after it is a six, so that is the second significant figure. So I want to stop there. Okay, I want to stop at this six. Okay, so I'll stop at this six and I think to myself, what comes after the six? Okay, what comes after the six is the eight. So that eight will cause this to become 0 0.047. Okay, another way you can think about it is the second significant figure is in the place of the, that's the tenth, that's the hundredth, that's the thousandth. So you're going to round this to the nearest thousandth. Okay, so that to the nearest thousandth, this is 0 0.047. Okay, now standard form. Number should be written with one number before the decimal point and one digit before the decimal point and it should be multiplied by 10 to the power of something. So you look at the number and you look at the first number that's not a zero again, which is two. So you have two, then you put point and then you write down any numbers like that are not zero. After that, all the zeros at the end, you don't write them down. Then I put times 10 to the power of so now you see the decimal point I've placed it over here. It was over here initially. So you ask yourself, how many spaces will I have to move it for it to go back to its original place? So of course you're going to have to move it to the right. So it's going to be positive. Another way you can think about it is this is a big number. It doesn't say zero point something. It's a big number. Okay. So therefore, um, it's going to have a positive index when you write it in standard form. So anyway, we, just, we see how many numbers there are that it has to move. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's 10 to the power of 6. So 2.76 times 10 to the power of 6. Okay, number 5. A tourist changes $500 to, um, to euros when the exchange rate is 1 euro is equal to one dollar point zero six. Nine seven, uh, so one euro is zero point one one point zero six nine seven dollars. How many euros does he receive? Okay, so he's got five hundred dollars. He wants to change them to euros. So let's say that's x euros. Okay, <clears throat> we know that one point zero six nine seven dollars is equivalent to one euro. So you can just use proportion here. You can say, okay, that's going to be, x is going to be 500 times 1 divided by 1.0679. So x is going to be 500 divided by 1.0697. Okay, so you have 500 divided by 1.0697. Seven. Okay, that gives you x equals four six seven point four two zero. X equals four six seven point four two zero. Continues on like that. Zero seven seven and so on. Just continues like that. Now we want to uh, round this to two decimal places because it doesn't say anything else in this question. And currently. No, your money you round to two decimal places unless otherwise stated in general you round to 3SF but for money you round okay to two decimal places so it's 467.42 euros now you'd only round it to do so two decimal places if the answer does not come out as an integer if the answer came out as exactly for example $400 or 400 euros whatever you would just write 400 you wouldn't put 400.00 you only round it to two decimal places if it's not an integer answer. Okay, so that's the end of question number one, uh, page number one, and I'll do page two in the next video.